Okay, moving on, let's talk about NATO and the Warsaw Pact. Uh, NATO, still around today, you might have heard about it in the news. This is an organization called the North Atlantic Treaty Organization, and it's basically a defensive military alliance. Um, when this was set up, it was 15 countries which promised that an attack on one would be regar regarded as an attack on all. This included the United States, Canada, Iceland, and Western European nations. And this was created right after the Soviet advance into Czechoslovakia. Now, in response, not to be outdone, uh, the Soviet Union created their own military alliance called the Warsaw Pact, and this included all those Eastern European satellite nations that were dominated by the Soviet Union. All of this, again, creating more tension in the Cold War. Then, to top it off, we have the nuclear arms race. This really gets started in 1949 when the Soviet Union achieves their own atomic bomb. And you can see the attractive scientist that created it. I know you will all want to grow, or at least the boys will want to grow a beard like that when you're older. All right, but that kicked off um, the nuclear arms race. And in response to that, um, the United States quadruples defense spending. Truman approved spending to develop even more powerful nuclear bombs. Now Eisenhower, who becomes the president after Truman, continues this policy and in 1952 the United States develops and tests the hydrogen super bomb in the Marshall Islands. This was uh, quite a successful test. A fireball of the first test bomb reached a diameter of three miles and it vaporized an entire island. It also destroyed all life and vegetation on surrounding islands. This was 1,000 times more powerful than an atomic bomb. The Soviet Union amped up their efforts and in 18 months they also had developed the hydrogen bomb. Again, more and more tension as the countries continue to build more nuclear weapons. All right, well, when the 1950s began, we saw some new leaders coming into play in the Cold War. In 1952, Eisenhower, you might remember him as the general from D-Day, is elected president of the United States. And in 1953, Stalin dies. This was kind of an interesting uh, interesting story. It, it was very controversial. Um, some people thought that he was poisoned, um, but that probably was not true because he made his advisors taste all of his food before he ate it. Um, but he basically collapsed. His advisors, strangely, didn't get him medical care right away because they actually thought he had had too much to drink. Um, and also, some may have wanted him dead. But finally, he was tended to by a major in his guard who was a veterinarian. So that was his medical care, and he did die. Um, but this was a time when something called nuclear deterrence begins. Basically, it meant that the leaders, they don't want World War III. Tensions still extremely high, but neither side could afford a first strike because then the other would strike back and both would be destroyed. That was the power of these weapons. This concludes today's flipped lecture, and thank you for listening, and we'll see you next time.